guys, it's your boy Etel back again with another video and I know you guys have been thinking where have I been? I've been ill with a cold for the last week so I haven't uploaded but we're back with a bang because we're reviewing these, the Hyper Venom Phantom 3 in the latest Radiation Flare Pack colorway. Now, if you don't know, the likes of Vardy, Wayne Rooney, Cavani, Iguain, name it, Lewandowski have been sporting these bad boys so make sure you keep watching especially if you're a striker. I can purchase them from Lavelle Soccer, I'll leave their link in the description below and if you use my discount code FTLTV10 on any boots on their website you will get 10% off your purchase but for now let's get straight into the video. So here we are with the Nike Hyper Venom Phantom 3 in the Radiation Flare Pack colorway. Now as always guys I've actually gone with my actual size which as you can see there is a UK 9.5. They come in pretty much a standard orange box with the you know standard white Nike swoosh. This being a high-end Nike boot the first thing you do actually get is a string bag which is really cool. The actual bag itself is split diagonally into two colors so on the left hand side of that split you've got Vault um, which essentially is like a yellow color while on the right hand side of that split you do then have green in a kind of diamond shaped pattern which you'll later see on the actual boots i'll just bring it closer the branding along the actual string bag is in hyper orange which is basically a kind of pinkish orange color and you can see that in that hyper venom letter in there and the nike swoosh at the bottom of the bag strings on the actual string bag are also in that hyper orange color so yeah it's a pretty you know vibrant colorful string bag definitely one i'll be looking after guys and keeping away from all those string bag thieves on the football pitch all that's left within the actual box are the boots so let's get them out so here they are guys finally the hyper venom phantom 3 in the radiation flare pack colorway firstly guys let me explain something i know a lot of you might be slightly confused because i'm calling these the phantom um yes the previous generation um the second generation of the hyper venom the low cut boots the ones that were shaped like these were actually called the finish however for this new generation nike have decided they want to call these the phantom and then the mid cut boots um the ones obviously with the colors the extension piece the phantom df so yeah that's just to clarify that let me know your thoughts on in terms of the you know the colors nike have used on these the shape of the boot really interested to know what you guys um think about them leave your thoughts and then if you absolutely hate them i'm also interested to know why so make sure you get commenting guys the best place to start is to take a closer look at the colors that nike have actually used on these boots okay guys i think from the get-go we can clearly see that Nike have gone for a bright, vibrant, bold look for the release colorway of the Hyper Venom um, third generation. They've actually gone for a kind of two color um, look along the upper on the medial side you have got that hyper orange as i said earlier it's more of a kind of pinkish orangey color um, in all honesty while on the lateral side just on the other side of that split you then have a vault color in the toe box area which then fades really nicely into green in the heel area in all honesty i wasn't a fan of these from the images that were going around on social media at the start however holding them in my hands i must say i do like you know the combination of those two colors green laces there however on the lacing system on these loops you've got alternating colors so if i bring it slightly closer hopefully it focuses you can see on the green side you've got pink orangey loops while on the you know middle side where the boot is actually kind of orange you've got green lace loops so you have got alternating um colors for the loops there which is pretty interesting all the branding along the upper is actually done in black so you've got a black nike swoosh there on the toe box i'll just bring it slightly closer for you guys to see that mid foot section of the medial side you then do have fly knit letter in there in black acc all condition control in black also and then lastly along the actual upper you've then got a nike swoosh in the heel area on the lateral side talking about the actual upper you then actually have an alternating kind of coloring along the back of the heel so it's pink green pink green all the way down which is really random however it kind of works with the craziness that's going along the rest of the upper in all honesty and to be honest as i said 
wasn't a fan at first however it's definitely grown on me and i think you know majority of people will actually like it but comment below let me know your thoughts on that and then moving on to the soul plate it's predominantly black as you can see there however in the middle of the soul plate you do have a nike swoosh which is in that um, orange color clear studs as you can see there and also there on the outline of the actual soul plate you can see a hint of vault yellow there also not a color way that everyone will be absolutely crazy about but definitely it's definitely grown on me tech wise guys these boots are completely different to their predecessor the hyper venom um, finish 2 or even the 2.5 i've actually got a pair here of the 2.5 and side by side guys i'm sure you can make out especially with the upper it's completely different now to begin with guys the upper of the phantom 3 is actually made out of fly knit so we have now officially got a knitted upper on the hyper venom line the predecessors here were actually made out of a synthetic material however it's knitted here welcome to the future guys it being a knitted upper means that it's definitely going to take more to the shape of your foot there's literally going to be little to no break in time for these so you can almost go straight into a match really with these on no break in time needed in all honesty we do now have some crazy texturing along the upper which i'll show you more better on this side as you can see there and these are poor on foam so you've got these little kind of foam pods all along the upper all that will do guys is actually dampen the the amount of pressure you feel when you make contact with a ball from a pass so it'll actually dampen and just create a nice and better feel when you make contact with a ball from low velocity um passes however when you actually strike the ball in terms of shooting what will actually happen is that these pour and foam pods will actually firm um and actually create a more rigid contact on the ball the combination of the knitted material and the pour and foam means that the upper is really flexible and really soft as you can see there as i'm pressing along the actual material so if you are looking for a lightweight boot which offers a kind of dampening effect however will definitely you know create a lot of power when taking shots this is definitely something you want to be taking a look at off centered lacing system as you can see there increasing the kind of strike zone as you may know already this boot is really engineered to strike as people who are looking to score goals so that's most likely the reason why it's still off centered in the third generation just meaning that you do kind of get a more and larger um, area to make contact with a ball when striking it still with the one piece technology as i've said definitely a big fan of that it just means that the ball or whenever you make contact with the ball comes off one surface and there's no interrupting layers and for me there is just a better feel on your foot when there's no um you know tongue it just feels a lot nicer and more like a sock and not a boot which is kind of what we all like and want on our boots nowadays there is fly wire cabling a lot more of it actually on the hyper venom um phantom 3 there's actually three meters worth of fly wire cabling running from the laces into the sole plate on either side of the boot and once you pull on the laces and um, what actually happens is that these fly wire cables then lock your foot in place really nicely which is really important in the modern game as you don't want your foot sliding about within the actual boot this being a nike um high-end boot you do get ACC as you can see there all condition control which essentially means that these boots will perform as well as they do in dry weather in wet weather which is really important and the fact that it has this texturing you should be able to get slightly better um, you know kind of control and grip on the ball also slightly different to the predecessor of the hyper venom um, phantom 3 we have this knitted material in the tongue area as you can see there we had this synthetic material and i just feel like this will provide a better fit and the fact that these flywire cables also as i mentioned earlier are you know adjustable with the laces it does mean that these boots will definitely appeal to people who have wide feet there's an internal heel counter which will ensure that your heel area isn't moving around at all within the actual boot really important in the modern game there is also a synthetic leather liner going along the heel area of the boot in black which has a decent amount of pad in there the insole is fully removable as you can see and actually has a decent amount of thickness to it it's obviously vault cut in color with nike grip brand in there 
um, in black and actually it has got some texturing on it which will ensure that your socks isn't moving around. The sole plate on these, the Hyper and Fanta 3 is completely different to the predecessors. I would say actually the stud, you know, actual layout of the studs are pretty much the same however the actual studs used are completely different as you can see on the older version the old generation these ones um, they're mainly conical studs however there is a combination of two type of studs on these boots as you can see you have got kind of hexagon shaped um, studs there which will allow for better agility as well as that you have got these you know arrow shaped studs which will definitely provide for a more kind of aggressive um, traction on the pitch. The sole plate in the toe box area is actually made out of um, Pebex which is really flexible as you can see they're really important when you're about to take off when running however in the midfoot section where you want it to be really sturdy it's made out of nylon the technology that they've put onto the hyperven phantom 3 i'm really excited about and can't wait to test it out let me know your thoughts in the comments below but for now what i'll do is put them on for you guys to see how they look on feet <music> So guys, that was just a short play test of me just playing in them just for you guys to see how they look. A proper play test will be going up on my channel real soon. I wasn't a fan of this colorway at the beginning. You know, you've seen all the images online and all of them, social media and all that stuff. But now with them in my hands and playing with them, they look absolutely amazing. Love the technology that they've, you know, implemented on a new generation with these little pods, these little foam pods, which hopefully when it focuses, you see there and definitely creates a nice sensation when you make contact with a ball definitely and just as the fit of the boot is absolutely amazing especially when you pull on the laces you get a really nice lockdown feel from the fly wire but overall guys i'm a big fan of these boots definitely good traction as well on the pitch even though that was an artificial pitch and these are fg boots still got a lot of traction and was able to turn and cut really nicely but yeah guys as i said if you are looking to purchase these or any other boots you can do so from the vel sock i'll leave their link in my description below but for now guys if you enjoyed the video give it a like and also subscribe peace